Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex, and the project I'm going to be working on tonight is all different sorts of the Toy Story, but um, a bunch of Jessies that I did using color book images. Um, all of these pieces are going to be having hats and banners on them, and I'll do those in a minute to move some of these over here. Um, the first one, again, these were all color book pages. The, the, then what I did is the rope is all one cut. Um, Jessie's upper torso and the, her shirt are one piece. Then her pants and, he, and um, bullseye here is one piece. And I'm trying to think where he cut. Oh, this was another piece here where the rope went through. This was one piece, and and this was one piece, and then this up here is all one piece, and then this is one piece. Um, I had to do the hand, the eyes by hand. I learned a new technique too. I figured out a way to do these to make them come out more perfect, and I'll show you that. And actually, I just noticed one of these I did. That's okay. Um, and this was all done in a print and cut. And these are all 12 inches, one foot pieces, and it's either one foot this way or this way. And obviously this particular one is 12 inches. And I think it's even longer than that. Yeah, it's 15 inches this way. But when you turn it on your mat, you can fit him on a 12 inch mat by moving him around. And the other one that I did, I love this one, it's so cute. Um, her bottom half is all cut out in one piece. Her hat is one piece. Her upper body is one piece. Again, these were all done with color book pages. And then he, I have to feel so I can tell where the layers are. He's all one piece. And then I took, and remember when I was talking about in the video the other day, if you saw it, about that one gradient um, coloring, coloring that made it look like a pipe. Well, I used it here on the stirrup so it made, made it look like metal. I found my first use. I was so thrilled. I was like, oh my gosh, they all gotta have, they all gotta have that on it. Um, actually, on this one too, you can see it. I did the gradient here so they look like they're metal. Um, and then I just did a stripe on the piece that went under the, the map that went underneath the saddle. I used the gradient color on the the actual saddle so that you could differentiate the color. I did the same thing with the gradient on the shoes and on the jeans and on her um, skin tone I used the gradient. So she has actually I might end up doing a different one over again because I like the coloring so much better on these. I'll show you one as I go. And then I did this one. None of the pegs have been trimmed on these yet, so the pegs are sticking out. They'll come down further when they're trimmed off. Um, and again, look at the stirrup with that, using that color. I remember when I said on the video the other day, I don't know when I would ever use it. Well, I figured out when I would use it now, and I love it, love it, love it. Um, this is one piece and also on all of the hats I did the inner off the internal offset dotted line to do the faux stitching on the hat. Um, there's a little bit of a different technique I used on the color book pages because I had to make the eyes on all of them. But to show you a video on all of these would take hit, take forever and a day. So I'm just showing the finished product and then here's another one that was done with the color book page and again I did the faux stitching on the hat and her hat and had this is all one piece but what happened was I meant to do an offset of the black on the back you see something here um, and I don't know what happened that I removed it. And so when it cut, it cut out in one piece, but it cut between all these little lines. And so it's, it still had the kind of the break 
the little bit of breaks like you would um, if you cut them in layers and again had to redo the eyes. Just to kind of give you an idea, what I did with the eye is on a color book it has the, the, the shape of the eye. What I do is remove all the inside pieces because none of them fit anyway and then I take and I duplicate the outside piece then I remove it and I do my internal offset line down to point one zero so it's just a hair tinier than this and I do it in white and then I build the eye then it's shaped and fits perfect right into the eye socket. Um, what else did I do unique on this? I did the gradient color on her boots along with the bow stitching and then this is Woody. He was also done from a color book image, I do believe. No, that's not true. This was all the rest of these were done with the Cricut cartridge. Um, and what I'm going to do on all of these, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. These have eight characters, and these are all going to have a banner or um, a hat or balloons or something on them, and I think they're going to watch me decorate them. Let's see here, I need to get out some pop dots. There we go. And let me see. I'm going to do this one on here, and I do not like these pop dots at all. These pop dots are the worst that come in these. So much waste, don't like them at all. So I'm going to cut up and throw these on here. And uh, cut a piece here. A um, couple people have asked me about the upgrade of the Silhouette software to the 3.0. Um, I read numerous. Tammy, thank you for sending me that link. And I read about the issues. Um, scenes that, believe it or not, that's what I do for a living. Um, internet support and all the pretty in tune to all the upgrades and updates and things like that. And I have learned over the years, I don't want to put it in his hands because it goes across his face. Let me see if I'd like it better on another one. Maybe I'll do it on him. I don't want to cover up. Let me see if I like it better on him. In that hand and that hand. Let me see here. Like he's holding it. And then I can just cover up a little bit. Yep, I think I'm going to do it that way. Um, anyway, doing that for a living, I know how it goes with these updates because um, we normally do not update things until uh, they're, uh, they've been around for a while because we know all the problems you can run into. So yesterday I got the message that there was an update available. Um, however, I got the message before I had gotten any of these messages on YouTube. I, I actually got it when I opened up Silhouette. It said there's, a recent, there's an update available. Well, I tried to update it and um, I got sidetracked with something. I don't know what I was doing, but I got sidetracked, which is a shock, but I did. And I didn't update it. And so I thought, oh, I'll just do it later, no big deal, because everything was working. Then after I read um, these articles, as a matter of fact, Tammy, somebody else sent me the same thing, saying that it didn't go real smooth. Um, I'm glad. Normally I do run the updates because the updates typically don't go. They're just kind of ironing out some bugs. But I gather from the feedback in this article that this particular update was adding some features and when you start to uh, modify things like that that's when they don't go so well and um, so for anybody that wanted to know out there no I did not do the update and I also was watching some videos last night about the new Explorer and I was <laughs> watching one I'm sorry to laugh and it, but I thought it was 
really funny because the new machine, somebody was so excited with the new machine, and they were going to demonstrate how to do a printing cut. However, the machine doesn't have the ability to do a printing cut. So the way that they were doing it was um, crazy. I, I, I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway, I was watching them print it out and then take a ruler and out there measuring it and trying to figure out how to fit it on the mat so that when you put the print out on the mat, you can line it up so it would cut out perfect and whatever. I didn't watch the end because uh, it, I don't like to spend a lot of time watching something that I'm not going to um, put to use. And that was something I was never, ever, ever going to use. So I didn't finish watching it. However, I highly doubt, highly doubt that she was going to be able to line that up how she was trying so that she could cut it out and have them match up. Highly unlikely. Just, it, it, Life's not that easy, unfortunately. But, um, and they were saying on this video that um, apparently Cricut was supposed to be coming out with whatever upgrade by mid-year um, for the print and cut option. Uh, I do not, I do not get the impression there's ever going to be the option. Um, I better not say that because I haven't watched and reviewed enough on it. Uh, I will say again, because again, folks are asking me, and I know not everybody's seen my responses on other videos, uh, but I'm sticking to my original answer. I will not, at this point in time, do not foresee myself ever owning one. Um, again, it would have to literally do the work for me before I would even it would even pique my interest and I probably still wouldn't be interested because I enjoy doing this work. However, don't see my ever owning one. So those of you that have been asking, answers the same, nope, not happening. Not happening. No interest in it and don't foresee I ever will have an interest in it. I just don't th think that Provo Craft has the ability to compete. They're behind. However, if this, this new uh, update on Silhouette is going as ungodly as people's comments have been, uh, they might, might uh, run for the money there. But as it stands, I'm sticking to what I have. You know, when I have these scales, and I used to do a lot of videos using the scales, um, I, at that time, I couldn't see myself ever, ever using anything else. And, of course, I didn't know at the time that this machine ever existed. And I remember watching videos and people talking about it and comparing and whatever, still I had no idea what it was. Um, YouTube is a godsend because it's unbelievable what you can learn out there on YouTube. But I don't know where I was headed with that story. No idea. Can you believe it? Sidetracked again twice in one video. Huh, huh, huh. There's a piece of glue there, I'll tell you. Um, oh, somebody asked me about my hot glue gun again, what I prefer, and the one that I used to prefer was the one that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's the cordless. It's white. It's 20 bucks. I think it was 20 bucks. And um, it's a white one. It sits on a base. I don't have it sitting over here now. Uh, however, I've gone through three or four in one year, so I don't know if it is the best quality. I thought it was because I left it on all day. I don't think it's because I left it on all day. I think it's just because it's just, you get what you paid for. And so I pay for a lot of them. I buy a lot. Um, but that is the best. I don't know the brand of it. It's sitting right over here. Um, it's called Super Bonder. It's white. It comes with the chargeable base of the base that it sits on. Um, and again, it's $20 at Hobby Lobby. I do like it because the next one that I bought that was supposed to be 
uh, cordless, you actually had to unplug it. To be cordless, you still had to unplug plug it from the like from the end of it. You had to unplug it and then plug it back in every time you're going to use it. I, I don't think that's cordless. I want to pick it up, use it, put it back down, and have it charging. That to me is truly cordless. And my hands aren't matching up. I didn't flip them. See, you know, I tell everybody, make sure you flip your images, and then I don't. You know what? I think, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to cut out some more hats because he's got a hat on, he's got a hat on. Let's see, he could probably use a hat. I just, I, I hate to put things on that are going to cover up certain parts of them that are really, really cute. Like Lots, Lots or whatever his name is. I'd like to put a hat on here, but I love his eyebrows. And if I put a hat, unless I put it over here, let me see. See, if I put it here where you would put the hat, it covers up his... Well, that's not bad. I can still see his eyebrows. Let me do a hat. Let me find my gun. Let me see. Um, and... Somebody asked me about using the gradient that I showed where I said you could make a tube or a pipe on my balloon from the Wizard of Oz so I could get that kind of color to make it look rounded. Great idea. I'm going to try that when I have a free moment. Um, the other day when I told you I was going to take the night off and just play around, now I'm paying for it. So I might not have a night off to play around again for a while and that's going the same direction. Doggone it. What was I thinking? Well, that bites, and these are all a different size. Oh, I just put the tape on wrong. Guess I'm going to be using that hat too. It's all taped up now. Wow. And, do I have any other stories to tell you? No. It's 30 some degrees out again, which also absolutely bites. It is freaking cold outside. You know, I decided. No time for picking up presents today. It's too cold out. So, there we go. But I think this, this little dude, you know, I'm going to have to cut out. Can you believe it? Maybe I could. I know. I know what I'm going to do. He can be holding the gift in his hand. There we go. There we go. I gotta do a name also for this piece, for this, the, the little boy's name. But this one is going to be eight pieces, eight characters total. And of course they're all going to be, or are all different. These are all Cricut cartridge that I used on my silhouette. Um, one thing I will say, um, on pieces like this, I had, I did the green, yeah, I did the green out of green, lime green paper. I did not use print, I did not print that. I, I used actual green paper. I did the print and cut on the eyes because I had, I didn't want to put all those pieces together and all this down here was print and cut on that one. On um, this one, this was the whole entire thing was print and cut, and I did faux stitching all around the outfit to just kind of give it some, some whatever. And this one, I did print and cut. Um, it was the Cricut cartridge, but I pieced all these together and cut this out as the head and hat. Nope, head's one piece, hat's one piece with the faux stitching again and the gradient for the coloring. This shirt was actually from the digital print of Toy Story. Love that cartridge. Um, I'm going to be doing the names using the cow print and clouds and stuff. I did the faux stitching around his jean. This is a gradient color. His boots also had the gradient. Um, he's missing his spurs here, but I'm gonna use metal pieces of beading for the spurs down here. And 
she was done um, print and cut which I absolutely love this cartridge but never used it because I think I mentioned this on a different video I never used it because um, I got a little glue on there it tore so bad where it was it had this um, these little lines that give it the texture of the hay or the look of the cuts for the hay it just shredded the paper so bad so all of this is print and cut so that my paper doesn't tear and I absolutely love it her pants and her boots were one piece this part was one piece and I have to feel it so I can tell how many pieces I used because they are done in numerous pieces but um, None of these are done in one single piece. None of them. I don't think. No, none of them are. They're all pieced together. The only difference is, is I print and cut on them. And then we have Bullseye back here. Um, and this was the Cricut cartridge. And I'm trying to think. Um, I was doing... Yeah, no, I'm, what, now, now what I'll do is I've got to finish putting all the hats and stuff on them, but I'm going to have to print and cut out a bunch because I, I didn't realize I didn't have enough. When I grabbed the bag, I thought this bag was like mega full and it's not. So um, I'm going to have to cut and I can't finish this up until I cut some more out. So I think what I'll do is just take a picture of what I have there here and show you. I've done these before, so you've seen them in the large pieces. These are one foot pieces. And of course, not anything ever looks exactly the same. And then I'll show you a close up of. Oh, I actually like the cartoon, or the, not the cartoon, the color book pieces better. I absolutely love using the color book pieces because the poses are unbelievable. And it's really easy to do the rope and everything on them. But I will show you, oh my gosh, there's lots of them here. And I'll get my camera and come down here and show you what I got. Oh, there's another one up here. Okay, there is the color book page. Another color book. Oh, love this. That is so cute. Look at, oh, they're so cute. And another color book. Love this. And here are all the pieces. Again, I'm not done. I'm going to have to finish up um, the rest of the hats and whatever. But when I get them all done, I'll take some pictures, um, some, some still shots, and upload this with them. Thank you, and have a good night. Bye-bye.